A viral dash cam video out of Wisconsin caught a police officer's unexpected response to a student's excuse for his speeding. The kid tells the officer he's late for an important presentation in class and was only speeding because he'd had to stop by the house of a buddy who knew how to tie a tie. Unfortunately, as we can see, the buddy wasn't home, and the poor kid remains tieless. The officer takes the kid's tie and asks him to get together his license, insurance, and registration while tying it around his own neck. The officer counsels the student that one of his insurance cards is expired, then notices that the tie is too short. He'll have to do it again. The second attempt is a little long, but it'll have to do. He sends the student on his way with enough time to get to his presentation and a newfound appreciation for police officers. When the Oakland Cougars and Logan Township Lions met for a game of youth football in 2013, the Cougars coach brought out a trick play he had been working on for some time. In fact, he had collaborated on it with the head coach of the other team. This might sound a bit unusual, but the whole plan revolved around a very unusual and very determined player. Ten-year-old Jacob Steiner was a special needs student that had been taken under the wing of the coach and the entire football team. He had been playing in games all season long, but on this play you could see that the opposing players, with as much subtlety as they could muster, all allow themselves to be blocked, run the wrong way, or just fall down without being touched. All to make sure Jacob could know what it feels like to score a touchdown in a game, an experience he will certainly never forget. Greenville, South Carolina grocery store employee Brandon Rollins was going about a day like any other when he saw an opportunity to help. A frail, elderly customer half his size was making her way into the parking lot, and Brandon went out of his way to make sure she got where she was going safely. He took her by the hand and walked alongside her, not knowing that a customer was watching and shooting heartwarming video. Bo Graff posted his video to Facebook, where it quickly went viral and earned Brandon a spot on the local evening news. Bo told reporters that he had approached Brandon Brandon, after witnessing his gesture of kindness to let him know how much it was appreciated, but that the kid had acted like it was simply no big deal, which as Bo pointed out is really the kind of attitude that the world needs to see. His Facebook post concluded, this is what America should be, and hopefully this is the America of tomorrow. Employees at the Qdoba restaurant in Louisville, Kentucky take pride in going out of their way for their customers. Among their many regulars is a woman that employee Ridge Quarles describes as a very nice lady with disabilities who isn't able to get out of the house very often but loves to eat at her neighborhood Qdoba when she can. Employees know her order by heart, but one day when she was having a particularly tough time, she had an unusual request for Ridge. After placing her regular order, she asked Ridge if he might be able to help feed her, and the young man didn't think twice before agreeing. Several other customers noticed the exchange, and one shot some video, which he shared to social media. The big-hearted gesture brought local news to the friendly restaurant, but Ridge insists that he was only doing what anyone else would have done. U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel Robert Riston was out for a bite at a local Taco Bell in Alabama when his opportunity to make someone's day a little brighter presented itself. He was approached by a couple of boys who were selling homemade baked goods to raise money for their family. When Robert asked the older boy, only nine years old, if he had eaten anything that night, he answered no. But Robert didn't have any cash on him and the youngsters weren't in a position to take credit cards. So Robert brought both boys up to the counter and let them get anything they wanted to eat on him. The video was captured by a customer, who decided that the heartwarming moment needed to be shared with friends. After going viral, Robert was interviewed by local news, telling them that the boys were just as much of an inspiration to him as he could ever be to them. He also mentioned that they thanked him not just for the meal, but for watching over and protecting them in his role as a soldier. Los Lunas, New Mexico police officer Mark Garule responded to a call in late 2015 of a man laying up against a rock in the middle of a parking lot with no shoes or socks. When he contacted the man, he found his soaking wet socks drying nearby and old shoes that were full of holes. Officer Garule could have given the man a hard time for camping in a public place, but his body cam revealed that he chose a different course of action. After making sure the man wasn't in medical distress and had eaten earlier in the day, the officer went to a nearby Big Five sporting goods store and came out of his own pocket to buy the man a new pair of shoes with warm winter socks. Officer Garule told the man, whose name was also Mark, that Big Five had hooked him up, implying that he hadn't actually bought the stuff himself. And as if this weren't enough, he couldn't leave without giving Mark 20 bucks to make sure he wouldn't go hungry that night. Officer Garule is one cop who truly embodies the phrase to protect and serve.
In 2014, a man boarding a commuter train in Perth, Australia almost lived out every commuter's worst nightmare. As he was getting on board the busy train, he lingered a bit too long, and just as the doors were closing, he slipped, getting his leg caught in the gap between the train and the platform. Quick-thinking transit officials alerted the conductor, making sure the train stayed put, but were unsure how to go about freeing the man. Fortunately for him, the car was loaded with compassionate passengers. Once everybody was evacuated from the car, transit workers organized a group effort by the huge crowd. They piled up against the side of the car and pushed, slowly rocking the car back until the gap widened enough for the man to be freed. The extraordinary effort was caught by surveillance video. A transit spokesman said the occurrence was simply an accident and not the result of overcrowding, and praised the actions of transit staff and all of the passengers who saved the man from potentially serious injury. When 23-year-old New Yorker Joey Resto noticed a shirtless homeless man sitting on his subway car, he had the opposite reaction from everyone else on the car. The guy was clearly not in his right mind and didn't smell so great, and all the other passengers were crowded at the other end of the car, as far away from the man as possible. But Joey saw a guy who was cold and disoriented on a New York winter night, and decided that the only humane thing to do was to literally give him the shirt off his back. The man was so weak that he needed help putting it on, which Joey did before also giving him his hat. Another writer got video of the incident and posted it to Facebook, where it quickly racked up an astounding 8 million views. Joey would later say that he offered to get the man something to eat as well, but that after receiving some warm clothes he had promptly fallen asleep. Employees of a Vancouver, Washington donut shop could tell that something was wrong with one of their drive through customers one morning in early 2016. The unidentified woman was visibly upset, and when one young employee asked if he could help, the woman confided that she had lost her 37-year-old husband just the previous night. The 19-year-old employee, Pierce Dunn, asked the woman if he could pray with her, which she said would help. Amazingly, several other employees dropped what they were doing and leaned out the drive through window to participate in an impromptu prayer circle. Of the group, only Dunn explicitly identified identifies as Christian, with another young man later telling reporters that he isn't religious at all, but just wanted to try to help someone who was obviously in need. A customer in line at the drive-thru snapped this photo, which garnered millions of views on Facebook. The general manager of the Dutch Bros franchise commented that these are just the kind of people the company hires, and that her employees do things like this all the time. This unbelievably touching incident just happened to be caught on camera, and the kids involved say that they just hope the picture going viral doesn't cause the woman any trouble. When 11-year-old Colorado Charter School student Delaney Clements was diagnosed with a rare form of childhood cancer, her 9-year-old best friend Cameron Renfro decided to show her support in a way most little girls wouldn't. Delaney was losing her hair due to chemotherapy, and Cameron decided to shave her head bald as a way of letting her friend know she wasn't alone. Unfortunately, the girls' charter school wasn't too pleased with her decision. They suspended Cameron and sent her home for violating the school's dress code. Of course, this terrible decision was roundly criticized after Cameron's mother posted the story, along with this picture showing the two girls together to her Facebook. After intense public pressure, the school board called an emergency meeting, at which they voted to waive the rule and allow Cameron to return to school. With support like this, it looks like cancer picked the wrong little girl to mess with. To continue these acts of kindness, we figured we'd do a little giveaway for you guys. We've got three $100 Amazon gift cards. In order to enter, you'll have to go to the Gleam link at the top of the description. Best of luck, and we hope to see you in the next video.